It's common knowledge that you can't sail around here in the winter. Nobody does. Well, except us. We set out on February 15th. Got a great send-off going through the rape water uh, with a bunch of surfers and a classy send-off. Got to the islands. It was a new world. And a capital looked more like Ireland than the golden part of the Golden State. We headed to the south side of Santa Cruz, uh, saw whales in the distance, but didn't get close enough to anybody to take any pictures, and headed for Coach's Parados for the night. And normally a beautiful anchorage, today it was spectacular. We spent the uh, evening uh, nestled in two hooks, and morning we were treated to a spectacular sunrise. It was warm all night with a valley breeze of about 8 or 10 knots. Checking the anchor was actually kind of pleasant. New moon, so the stars were incredible. First thing in the morning, we set out and uh, did a little kayaking in the bay. It was really warm. We explored the bay and the surrounding area for quite a while and got some really beautiful pictures. Now, normally, this anchorage has uh, four or five, sometimes as many as 20 boats in it. As you see, we own the real estate during this time. This is the site of an old Chumash village. Well, we were waiting around, uh, waiting around for breakfast and for the chef de cuisine to get it on the table. Having uh, for breakfast this morning, chef. <laughs> we're having uh, the uh, the uh, uva, <laughs> the sausage, and <laughs> the cholesterol <laughs> special. <laughs> Well, while the chef and I went ashore, uh, Wayne cleared the shaft. He said the water wasn't that bad. In fact, I fell in it. It wasn't that bad. Well, we were underway shortly thereafter, looking for whales. Uh, mostly we saw sea lions. And we saw the occasional pelican splash and to fool us into thinking there were whales. In the distance, we finally saw some. And as we came through Anacapa Passage, we finally found a gray whale. And these critters run to uh, about 50 feet and 36 tons or so. There were three animals in this pod, and they were headed up the north shore of Santa Cruz. Off in the distance, we could see several other pods uh, a mile or two away. Hard to estimate the distance. Here you see one sounding. These are bottom feeders, uh, although we doubt that they do much feeding on their way north. And Bill got some classic shots of the fluke disappearing in a sequence of stills. Well, it was a great adventure for us to go sailing when you're not supposed to go. We had a great time. Hope you enjoyed uh, coming with us. If you've got any questions about sailing the Channel Islands, give me a call, Captain Dan, 805-750-7828, or find us on the web at sailchannelislands.com. Stay on the water.